For the purposes of our demonstration, we're going to use the profile for Dr. Anna Freud. You can find this in the how-to tech guide for members on the Continuing Competence Program as well. Dr. Freud works primarily in her treatment centre for children, youth and families engaging in a variety of professional activities such as therapy, training and research. She also does some supervision and belongs to a variety of associations including local, national and international ones. Describe your professional practice. To do this, go to the Practice Profile tab, read through the instructions, and then you will come to the area where you'll complete your practice description. There are four areas that we would like you to report on. The first, branch of psychology. Next, professional activities, professional practice context, and lastly, client focus. Let's fill this in for Dr. Anna Freud. We know that Dr. Anna Freud does 100% of her practice in the branch of clinical counseling. So using the drop down box, we will select clinical counseling and we will type in 100 into the percentage of her practice. Under professional activities, Dr. Anna Freud mentioned that she does research. She also noted that she does supervision. And she also noted that she still does some intervention area, uh, some intervention work with children and families. So in the research, her percentage of her practice at this time in her career, she thinks about 50% of her time is doing research. She thinks another 30% of her time is spent supervising grad students, research assistants, etc. And then in the area of intervention, she believes she does about 20, maybe she thinks she does 25% in that. So she looks at her math, 50, 80, that takes it to 105. She realizes that she's a little bit over, so she decides to pop down interventions down to 20% because this more accurately reflects the balance of work that she does between research, supervision, and intervention. Satisfied that this is mostly accurate, she moves on to the area of professional context. This is a new area for her, so she curiously looks to see where her treatment center that she founded would fit into this list, and she notes that community agency slash counseling center, family center, etc. might be a good fit. It's a reasonable fit. So she selects community agency as representing where she does her work. And 100% of her work is done in this center. So she simply adds 100% to this box and moves on to the last box, which is client focus. Right off the top, she knows that she works with children, youth and families and adults through supervision. So she adds uh, for children, then she adds for youth, and then she adds a section for adults. She goes back and she decides that with the children, she does some individual work and some family work. With the adolescents, with the youth, she does individual work, she does family work, and she also runs some groups or overseas groups. And then with the developmental stage of the client group being adults, she realizes that she does some uh, individual supervision. She doesn't do treatment individually, but she does do supervision individually. She does treatment to families, and then some of her supervision and treatment is done in group or individually. So now she needs to fill in the percentage of her practice. So with children, she figures about 30% of her work is spent with children. An equal amount is spent with adolescents. 30 30 gives 60, which means that she has 40% left of her time working with adults. She reflects on that, realizes again, that's pretty, pretty darn close. She's satisfied with that. So she presses the save for later button, not wanting to lose her work. She gets a notification that her continuing competence plan has been saved. She comes back up and decides to take one last quick look. Clinical counseling, 100%. That's correct. Professional activities, research, supervision, intervention. She checks her math, 50, 80, 100. Things look great here. Professional practice, 100% of her practice is in a counseling center. She's pleased with that. And when it comes to client focus, she works with children, youth, and adults. Her math adds up, 30, 60, 100. So she's satisfied and decides to go on to step number two, entering her goals. Thank you for watching. For more information, please take a look at the CAP website on continuing competence.